Are you your own best caddy? I just got in my car after a uh, day of teaching and I finished up with an on-course playing lesson with a student that I've had for a while now. Really great guy. However, I saw a side of him today that I've never seen before and really was quite shocking, to be honest. Um, I've spent a lot of time with him on the range, but this was our, our first time out playing actual holes. Once we got out there, uh, it seemed to me like after every single swing, he totally berated himself, told him how stupid he was, how bad he sucked, how he was never going to get it with all the time he's put in. Why isn't he better? Does this sound familiar? We've all done it. I'm not just pointing my finger at him. I've done it. You've done it. But is that really the best thing to do? It got so bad that I eventually asked him, has he ever played with a caddy? And without thinking about it, he said, yeah, of course I have. I said, well, with what you're saying, if that caddy was saying that to you, how would you react? Would you keep him employed? And if he, of course, he shot off right away. Well, of course not. I'd fire him. I said, well, maybe you need to think about firing that guy that's telling you what you're telling yourself in your head. Because it's not doing you any good. I went on to ask him. Do you talk to your friends like that on or off the golf course? He said, of course not. I said, well, I hope that the kids that you play golf with, you don't talk to them like that. And if you do, you need to stop right now. Just like with yourself, you need to stop talking to yourself like that right now. It's not doing you any good. It's not helping you reach your goals. I went on to ask him, so why, why, why do you play? And of course, he gave the answer to have fun. And I asked him very candidly. I know him very well, so I was comfortable asking him this. When was the last time you had fun playing golf? He just kind of shook his head and he's like, oh, it's been a while. I said, so the next time that you come out to the range, the next time you come out to the golf course, why don't we have a new plan? Why don't we have the plan to be our own best caddy? Because your mindset is going to have to be different. He says, you know, you're right. So again, ask yourself, why do you play golf? If the answer is fun, then let's figure out a way to have some fun. This game's hard, it's challenging, it's difficult, and that's what makes it worth it. You know, I tell my students all the time, I wish I had a magic wand that I could donk you on the head and all of a sudden you're better. Learning a motor skill does not, does not work that way. It just doesn't. If it did, I'd be on my own private island somewhere already. <laughs> you know, for those of you that play instruments, play other sports, other motor skills, you understand this. But for some reason, when it comes to golf, people think about it differently. When that baby gets up to walk, it may take two steps, fall down. It may then take four steps and then fall down. But that doesn't guarantee it's going to make six steps the next time it gets up. It may only take one. But what is it doing? It's building references and learning. So the next time out to the driving range or to the golf course, I challenge you. Be your own best caddy. Let's have some fun. 